So in order to add some flexibility to my pneumatic cylinders, I'm going to need something called a heim joint or rod end. So what this guy will let me do is I can attach it to the end of the cylinder, and then it gives me a bit more flexibility of where the cylinder is attached. So I think I'm going to need these for the shoulder joints. So let's get a few of each. And according to the specs, they've got a pretty good uh, load rating, over a thousand kilogram force. Hey guys, just a quick update today, but I got some good news. First, I got a package. These guys are the spherical rod ends I ordered. So using these guys, I can get extra flexibility in my joints. They're the same joint used in cars, also called a rod end. And what it does is it allows the cylinder to pivot like this and it has flexibility like this. So I'm going to be using these for a bunch of the joints, especially on the shoulders of the exoskeleton. I also got the male stud kind for the other style. So you basically attach it on there, throw on your nut, and now I also have a joint like this. I'll be needing a smaller nut because it is restricting the movement a little bit. As you can see if I remove that, it's got more flex. So if I get a smaller nut, the same size as this bearing, then I can have lots of movement that way. And the great thing is, these things are rated for a ridiculous amount of force. So I can actually use it with a joint like this and be able to push like that without a breaking. Also got these. Another dozen cylinders. I've got 20 now. These are all thanks to my friend Mike. I really I keep telling this guy he's gotta make a YouTube channel. Because he builds crazier stuff than me. So I'm gonna try and get him to get a YouTube channel. Like, for example, he's built basically imagine anything you could strap an engine to. He's done it. Like a plywood speedboat that sinks if it stops moving. Really cool stuff. Once he has a YouTube, I'll let you guys know. But now, I should have enough of these to do an entire suit, including the legs. But I might get some beefier cylinders for the legs. Anyway, that's all for now. But I'll hopefully have another video for you guys ready next week. And if you want to support this project, don't forget to like my videos, subscribe, and share it with your friends. The bigger my channel gets, the better this project will become. Thanks guys.